Hello there, welcome back to my channel, The Wellbeing Guinea Pig. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of topics. The first one being, um, I'm interviewing a lovely lady today and she was involved in a therapy that I had and that's called Neuroptical Neurofeedback. She's going to go into detail about the sessions, the cost, uh, how the sessions are run um, and what, what it feels like to have that particular therapy and who would benefit from it. The other is to talk to you about the fact that I'm not going to put out any videos for a little while. Um, the reason being is because we're going into our second lockdown and instead I'm going to be working behind the scenes recording videos and within a few weeks time when we've uh, you know we're able to resume our lives as usual fingers crossed then I'm going to be able to put them out in quick succession so I hope you enjoy today's interview please again click the like and subscribe to my channel and any topics that you think would be beneficial for me to discuss then that would be absolutely wonderful so i welcome the feedback that you could give me i'll see you soon welcome fiona oh thanks, thanks Jenny. for joining me today mm -hmm. thanks for the invitation i'm really excited about this oh all new experiences for both of us isn't it absolutely i'm yeah. not used to this youtubing but, I, uh, know, I know but uh, you know i'm sure we're gonna do just fine <laughs> So I've just got a couple of questions I'd like to ask you about the uh, neurofeedback, if that's okay. Absolutely, I'll do my best to answer. Lovely, lovely. So I'm going to start with, um, how did you get into neurofeedback? Oh, okay. Um, well, by chance really, like most things in life, you kind of stumble across it. Um, I've got a couple of boys who are aged 12 and 10 now, mm -hmm. and they were diagnosed with um, autism when they were three years old and we decided to do a play therapy program for them mm. and to, to get that off the ground i needed to do some training in america was this um, almost like a sensory type thing um, it, it certainly included sensory integration but it's very much a social program and a relationship based one and um my boys were quite severe so they didn't have any play skills they didn't sleep very well they were very anxious mm. um and they weren't really enjoying life and i wasn't looking for some sort of cure. I was looking for something that would make their lives and our family life just a more enjoyable. Just to light them up a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Because, mm. you know, they couldn't um, settle well. They didn't like any sudden noises. Mm. They were nearly afraid of everything, but that's because they were just so, so tightly wound. Mm. Um, they were non-verbal and, and the usual stuff, but you know, they were very young at the time as well. Mm. Uh, so I went and I trained in this play program um, and we still have elements of that in their their program that they do today for sure so it was a lovely it was really nice it was very based on love and acceptance and, mm. and how we can help and, and how you we could sort out our own attitudinal beliefs as yeah. well yeah yeah so I was just going to raise yeah, that and yeah. say I bet that really opened yeah, your eyes definitely. to it. I think it was yeah. more for me than them in lots mm. of ways now when mm. I think back mm. um, but whilst I was over there, there was um, a conference on uh, for all different sorts of things from, you know, um, sensory stuff to, to different um, interventions, I guess you'd call it, for, for kids on the spectrum in the States. Mm. So I thought, well, I'll go and have a look. And mm. one of the things that I was really drawn to was a couple of people talking about neurofeedback. Mm. And then I had a few um sort of syndicate groups with different parents whose kids were a little bit older than mine and i was asking what was the biggest game changer for mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and they were saying well you know once we got sleep sorted because yeah. my kids never slept well i think that's um, uh, for yeah. children and adults alike isn't it really Absolutely. You know? and i was saying well yeah my kids are the same and how did you get them to go to sleep and they said with the usual sleep hygiene etc etc mm -hmm. and all the stuff mm -hmm. that you'd expect mm -hmm. um but I would say probably 60-70% of them said our neurofeedback was the, was the game changer for us mm. and got us sleep, you know, well, without drugs. Be, that's, that's massive, isn't it? It know? is, because I was reluctant to kind of go down the medicated route unless I had to. I'm, mm. I'm not anti anything, mm. but I think sometimes you need to go do, you know, belt mm. and braces first and then see what else is out there. Yeah, yeah. 
and so I spoke to some of the professionals there and then I did some research and I thought well I come back to the UK I'll have a look and um, the different types of neurofeedback there's two two horses in the stable if you like mm. one of them is um, linear and the other one's dynamical now the one I use is dynamical right. um, both are great um, they are different though and the reason I chose this one is because it's very much um, down to your subconscious being um, the thing that's being engaged rather than your conscious brain hmm. because the traditional feedback or linear feedback means that you have to sort of participate in maybe playing a computer game or um, the protocol that's almost like the on. onus on you is yeah that, the onus on yeah. you to do so, yeah. so for instance if, if they had decided that um, one of your brain waves needed to be trained up when you're playing that computer game and you're winning um, and they can see that um, brain wave is getting in they, the game will be biased to get those what brain waves to be trained hmm. um, and I believe it's really successful for loads of people you need to make sure you've got a brilliant therapist doing it as well because they are you know hmm. affecting yeah. what's happening yeah um, but also you have to be able to follow instruction and you need to be able to have you know the motor skills to do it plus the the cognition to do it plus the attention span hmm. to, to do um, hmm. so that was inaccessible to my children so then I found out about neurooptimal, mm. where you put the sensors on, um, and it's only two sensors here and a couple of clips on their ears. Which, oh, got them there, for yeah. the viewers, yeah. Yeah, these are the sensors, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, so we put them on with this conductive paste, basically just stick them to your head. Mm. And then it um, picks up your brain activity, and your brain activity is in your brain waves, so it's an electrical activity that happens in everybody's brain. And all of the expertise is pretty much in the programme of what's there. So people like me who are you know, certified trainers, etc., actually are more like drivers for it mm. because we don't do any um, intervention once the, uh, the program's running. Mm. So it lasts for 33 minutes, and during that time, you can listen to music, and all you'll know is that you'll hear tiny, tiny interruptions, and that's when the neurofeedback is giving your brain the feedback saying oh there's a bit of turbulence here are you sure you want to do it mm. and then your brain basically makes up its mind whether or not it wishes to do that change or not very much like when you look in the mirror and you see that you've got some chocolate on your chin mm. the mirror doesn't get rid of the chocolate on your chin but it's giving you the feedback for you to then choose to move it off or not mm. so very much the same principle mm. and the other analogy i really like is when if for, for drivers out there it's when you're driving down the motorway and you might go over the, the rumble strips and you go oh crikey that's a and so you get the feedback which is very sensory not, not, not just visual that you've seen in the mirror but you'll feel it and you know you're going, all right okay mm. um and you choose then whether or not to correct your steering to go back into the lane or continue because you may have a lorry that's just there to your right and you need to do that to save yourself mm. so you'll be making that decision yeah or your inner core is kind of making that decision for you for mm. you so you don't need to think about it and for younger kids, we can load up videos and all sorts of stuff, you know. You know Peppa Pig is really, really popular with, with younger children yeah. to hold their attention yeah. for the 33 minutes. Because one of the questions I get asked all the time is, that how do you get a kid to sit and listen yeah. to the... Well, we've got lovely music that's been composed specifically for it. Mm, but very, very much nice. Full. I love yeah, music. Yeah, ideal for like, mm. a classy lady like yourself. Oh, wow. But a four-year-old that wants to run around, <laughs> you're kind of like, oh. <laughs> so we can put that stuff on. It, the visual stuff just keeps them anchored. Mm. It's it's the soundtrack or the audio that's going to carry the neurofeedback for them. Yes. And the nice thing about this neurofeedback is that it doesn't really have a a long protocol, whereas um, with the, the, the linear systems, they'll have done a brain map, which we don't do, um, and then say you need 10, 12, or 15 sessions. Mm. And don't get me wrong, that's great. So it's not. It, this is more about comparable. It's not about what's better or not. Mm. is to see what suits you best. It's just different, isn't just it? Just different, yeah. absolutely. Mm. Um, but with ours, you can stop after any session mm. because each session is its own its own little world, um, which makes the next question um, 
useful to explore really because people say how do you know you're getting better and simply it's how you're feeling so we do tracking sheets so people mark their sleep or whatever it is they're coming to see us about or anxiety or peak performance or their being present and not procrastinating hmm. so whatever issue if they've got they might mark it out and say how frequently it happens and then hmm. after a few more sessions they do it again and then they can see because the improvements often happen in a seamless fashion that they need to look back hmm. now we do get um, analytics etc from it but those analytics can't compare one session to another it only tells us what's happened in that one hmm. because in between sessions something else may have happened and what we don't want to do is become diagnostic hmm. it's very very much agnostic yeah and it's um, useful for people to have as part of their their wellness regime for themselves hmm. um, and it's not just for people that are really in you know, dire straits and you know, I need to do this, I can't sleep, I've got to find something. Mm. It actually, it really helps peak performance because mm -hmm. I've, I don't know how many sessions I've had. I don't even log them anymore because you can put them in a vault and stuff. So yeah. I just do it like people would probably practice yoga. Yeah. It, I just find it as a really lovely reset. It mm. keeps me kind of the person I want to be, really. Mm. It hasn't changed my personality, but it hasn't allowed sort of stresses of life to make me a bit prickly. Mm. So... I mean, I can't say that all the time. I'm sure there's plenty of evidence when I have been prickly. But it, you just get a better version of yourself. Yeah. And I think that's... that's just able useful. to deal with things just that little bit better. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mostly. Absolutely. Yeah. Because, you know, life isn't that easy, you know. And for anyone, we all have our own um, bag to carry, shall mm. we say. And, and let's, let's face it, this year we've carried yeah. more bags than usual, haven't Absolutely. we? What a stonker of the year. Yeah, absolutely. And actually this year though, um, we've started renting out the systems because obviously with lockdown I've been able to see people and um, I rented it out to a lovely lady in the summertime called Ginny. <laughs> And, um, I think. Yeah, I that's think. right. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, and I hadn't really done renting before because I mean, the kit's expensive and you've got to have to trust people that you mm. send me to. Mm. I trust the system because it's dead simple. And mm. um, I'm holding this manual actually. But, so you get this manual with loads of photos in. So it's dead easy. It's dead easy. All the expertise is in it. And I, I did want to say at this point though mm. that. Um, I do tend to find that uh, practitioners who do alternative or holistic, well, I'll, I'll be specific to you, you were extremely lovely to me, weren't you? And you oh. were extremely generous and, and giving to me. And I think that's a difference sometimes with, um, you know, more conventional treatments. You don't get that personal sort of um, experience that I had. I thought you were very oh. generous with your time. And oh, thank you, Jenny. That's really nice of you to say. Yeah. Well, I, I hopefully I'm like that with everyone because I have many people who phone or get in touch and just want to have a chat. Mm -hmm. And not all of them carry on to, to do Neurooptimal, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's just not the right time for them or it's not the right thing for them. Or, you or were giving me, you, you were sort of trying to keep me in line with thinking about what I was going to do for my future because you said to me as well, I may want to become a practitioner, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. were very generous with that. There's a lot of people that sort of yeah. would dissuade anyone from going into that, that field if it's yeah. it, quite, quite um, I think it's quite, what's the word? Um, for the Midlands, it's it's not a popular therapy, is it? There's, oh, no, there's not no. many practitioners in, in the West Midlands. No. Uh, I'm surmising uh, what, what... I think I'm the only one um, that does Neurooptimal in the Midlands, but yeah. um, the trainers are always updated on the Neurooptimal website, and you can mm. say, find a trainer, and you just put in your city or you know country, mm. and it will show you everyone that's qualified in that area um, mm. that's supported by the Neurooptimal guys. And and what's the what's the qualification? Um, what 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 That's would you need to be qualified great. in? Not much at no? all, really. Okay. Because, because as I was saying previously, um, all the expertise is in the in the in, stuff, in really. the computer. And then the when people rent it, they kind of go, "Oh right, is that it?" Um, so I think I did three or four days training. Mm -hmm. That was all, and then I just use it on my family for probably six months. Yeah, and. Then we just put a little advert out because myself and my sister have 
this little company, Neurofeedback right. Brain Training. Okay. Um, and people kind of found us. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. certainly haven't had um, a big marketing campaign or advertising or anything like that. It's brilliant. Um, yeah. So, mm. and I couldn't work full time anyway because uh, of family commitments, etc. Mm. So it's fitted in really lovely with that. Um, and that's one of the things I want to sales people, you know, don't think that um, you can't access it. It's really straightforward. And the yeah. reason I'd say get a trainer that's, you know, even just got that three or four days under their belt. If they are on the NeuroOptimal website, they've got the whole of the NeuroOptimal company supporting them. So if mm. there's any technical issue, they'll log on to the machine that you're using and take it over and be able to see if there's any glitches in there. So when I've rented it out to people, even just last week, mm. the uh, the guys in Canada um, took over the machine because the, the lady was unsure about a glitch and obviously I couldn't see it because mm -hmm. um, she was in our home and they sorted it out for her and it was, it was a relatively oh, sm that's brilliant. small issue which was just And have they been good, the company been good to you? Oh yeah, you asked them for anything and mm. they're really prompt at responding etc. Mm. But you have you basically pay this sort of insurance package with them mm. for that service. Mm. So um, that's why I'd say to anybody who wanted to use a practitioner, like at least when you know they've got that, all of their kit is being calibrated and is you know as good as it is going to be. Mm. Um, so that would be my only bit of advice, really. And most people are with them. You know. Can I just ask you, um, how has it benefited the boys? You oh, know, yes, what, what, yes. What is it? So, yeah, absolutely. Sleep was, was the thing mm. that really changed us. Mm. So once we had sleep in, and I've got to be dead honest there, because they did make all their progress, like one of my boys started talking, etc. Mm. Now, I didn't know if that was, you know, the gift that sleep was giving us, or whether that was neuro-optimal, giving us more and more. Probably a bit of a... Bit of a no yeah. way of knowing, really. Mm. Mm. And I... And I like to be dead honest about that because I could claim everything that the boys' breakthroughs have had to neurooptimal, but I don't know. Mm. That's dead honest. The sleep, I can say hand on heart for sure, but I think that was a gift that was just going to lock on other things because we were doing the play therapy oh, yeah. and we cleaned up their diet. and um, It's got we, such a, yeah. a big knock on effect, hasn't absolutely. it? You know, absolutely. So, sleep deprived. I mean, I know yeah. that first hand I talked to the audience about yeah. how it was for me, and yeah. oh, it's it's um, it was awful. Yeah. Um, so you know, yeah, is, we, even is. if you even if you're down on your your sleep by a couple of hours, that's bad enough. Oh, it is, and for us, the so, whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we were all better for that. Yeah, um, it certainly played a major role in all of the things that we've done, and because. They're little humans, <laughs> and I can't do a you know double blind control study on something, and I yeah. don't really want to because everything that I've chosen to do with them has been safe, and you know it's got peer study reviews to it, mm. and we just sometimes have to trust our gut to go. Oh, I think that this is working, or oh, this might not be. Mm. And having two kids, I've seen some things work really well for one, and then maybe for the other. Mm. But Neurooptimal has been good for both That's for good. sure. That's really um, good. And it's just part of our life now because mm -hmm. and I and I often use yoga as a as a bit of a a working example for mm. people when we talk about neurooptimal. It's because it, you wouldn't just go to yoga once a year and think it's gonna do what it needs to do, or you're not going to just then decide to eat badly and do yoga. Yeah. It's part of your lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It definitely can be um a thing to help people with a big step change mm. but then maintenance is just useful and you don't well, need to do that every week if i could uh, talk to you about my experience oh, yes. uh, with with neurofeedback with uh, new, new, what's neuro optical this one neuro optical no. neurofeedback it it seemed to me to it was the way I was using it wasn't necessary necessarily the right way of using it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to take away the anxiety, mm -hmm. and I think in in wanting a therapy to be the you know the the magical um, mm -hmm. the the golden bullet or whatever it is. It, it was the way I was using it. It, it mm -hmm. was it was. I was desperate, you know, in my desperate mm. attempt to try this therapy and that therapy. Yeah. It didn't give me the relief that I wanted. But I will say what I feel like I 
uh, it did for me was I, I was still sharp I was still mm. um, I didn't get brain fog which mm. I think if I didn't have uh, the neurofeedback mm. that I would have felt that um, you know I didn't have the energy the mental energy yes. to carry on yes. um, so it, it didn't take away the anxiety um, but it really did have that protective effect I felt yeah and it would it makes me wonder how it would be having it now mm -hmm. in a different situation now I'm not anxious and mm -hmm. I'll look at you know it sort of taught me to look at life in a different way again um, and, and, and what you know what would be the benefits now yeah well you should try it well this is and what this, yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. And, and it's really hard for me to be able to tell people individually yes. what it's going to do for them because yeah. our brains and our central nervous system is, is yeah. It's amazing, yeah. and I can't pretend to know what someone's is doing by, by looking yeah. at them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but commonly, um, the clients I see on a weekly basis are—they just keep coming back, even though on paper you think, "Well, surely you're done there." Hmm. But they love the the reset it gives them, yeah. And, and, yeah. Um, and that's their choice. And I really try to make sure everybody realizes the health that and the wellness and their whole well-being. It's down to the individual. You mm. never put that on anyone, not me or your doctor or anybody. Mm. Mm. People like me and your doctor are just part of your team. Mm. You're the boss. Mm. And mm. you've got to make sure that um, you try to put yourself in that position of power over your own body. Yeah. Because it's... it's and I think you. this is uh, the type of treatment, obviously, that, you know, there's no negative effects. There's no, toxic no toxicity no from mm. this treatment. And I think it's worth... And, and if you recall the conversations, a lot of the time, you know, when we would talk, I would say, I want to try this before having that tablet, yeah. you know? Yeah. That was that was my um, yeah. ethos on, on, on the way I looked at the medication. In the end, you know, mm. I feel like it's helped me. Yes. But I, do, I would tend to advise people to, to, to start off having this type of thing mm. other than, you know, sort of... Um, yeah. I think we 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 very much uh, in a society where we want the the pill to take everything away, yeah, and it absolutely. doesn't work like that, does yeah. it? You know? Well, for some people it does. Well, for yeah, me, yeah, yeah. For me, I, I really want people to have informed choice. Yes, yeah. And then they'll know. Back mm. back to what I'm saying, really. It's mm. your health. They're mm. your decisions. Some people don't have the money or the time mm. to do this. Mm. Totally get that. Mm. Um, and actually having a prescription might be their way, their way out of this black hole so certainly no judgments done but mm. by, by the same token let people be fully aware of the oh, decisions they're making yeah. and, uh, and the therapies like that are sort yeah. of right on their doorstep you know? absolutely yeah. and, and knowing that maybe you can um, do more than one thing at the same time yeah and they could be complimentary yeah you know? so that's, of course that's of the course. thing and you know and key make sure everyone should be having a balance well nutritious diet mm. that will always help because mm. um, even sometimes with neuro optimal we talk to people and then they tell me they're only eating crisps or something and, like, well, and they expect the, the I, machine I, to work one well yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah replace yeah. nutrition yeah um, and, and, and like you were saying, I think then for them, yeah. maybe just uh, adding in uh, yeah. some better uh, foods in the diet might be all that they need, you know? Yeah, yeah to maybe that first step. Mm. But, you know, why mm. not reach for the stars and have everything that you want? Yeah. You know? yeah. Um, but be aware that everything has its place. Everything's mm. probably got its limitations as well. Mm. And not one thing will do everything. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, that doesn't sound like I'm trying to sell it at all. I, I'm a massive fan of it. I think oh, you're totally really honest, uh, you know, honest. It's refreshing, actually, <laughs> and because that's and that's to me. If you, you know, that's the draw to you um, is the fact that you are honest and honest. and it, 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 your caring nature comes across. You know, you've got a story, you've yeah. got a reason, and to have this as a therapy, it was for your boys and you, yeah. you as a family. And I don't think you can beat that having a story. You know, no, getting maybe. into things for the right reasons yes. and. Um, yeah. So that shines through, which oh. is, and we we had a, a lovely rapport, didn't yeah, we, right did, from the yeah, start? Yeah, yeah you we know. had a good few conversations before we met, didn't we? We did, and I'm mm. sure that I, I shed I shedded a few tears down the phone to you yeah. on uh, more than one occasion. Oh, I know, but you were having such a hard time, and you were just 
really inspirational the way you were determined to get better and I just uh, you know wanted to help as much as I possibly could yeah and you um, did you oh, really did you. especially when you gave me a free week's use of that machine <laughs> didn't you well. just because you were being very kind to me and thoughtful so oh, I'll, yeah. I'll always be indebted to you oh, for that oh, you are um, welcome but uh, yeah, I mean, I had all these questions here, but you know, I don't know whether we've just because sort I'll of just flowed with it all oh, anyway, yeah. haven't we, yeah, really? Yeah, um, I mean, I can ask you uh, things like, you know, the cost oh, yeah. uh, of renting out this machine. Now, because when, I, like you said, when, when I first came to you, mm -hmm. there wasn't the option uh, to have that yes. initially. Yes, right, I was yeah. going to come and visit you in mm -hmm. uh, the room that you were renting, wasn't yeah, I? That's right, that's right. Um, so, what, so what's the, the co can, can people still do that if they don't want to um, uh, rent a machine? Can, well, it, it's all dependent on lockdown, really, at the moment. Of course, of course. No, yeah, no. that's right. That's um, right. But yes, I will, I will, we will still. My sister and I will still offer that service because not everybody, um, you know, will have the the means to rent and wanting to come in just once a week. And for some people, it's a social visit to them. Yeah, you know, they like coming and like actually going to the hairdressers. Had, yeah, they want to actually go somewhere and do it. So yeah. we will still offer that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and. One individual session is seventy pounds. We do offer concessions, etc. You can see all that on our website. Hmm. You can buy bulk sessions as well. It works out to be maybe sixty quid a session or fifty if, if you have a lot of sessions bought hmm. in hmm. advance. But pay as you go. It's seventy pounds a session, hmm. which does sound like a lot of money, hmm. and, and I recognise that. But the equipment, the running of it, hmm. and the overheads hmm. means that's the kind of price it is. I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's not uh, a lot, you know, when you it's compare it to no, no. all the therapies. So. It's a lot of money when you haven't got it though. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. That's and right. A lot and of the people the that come to see me maybe haven't worked for a while, or they, mm, you know, and it's mm. it's that awful cycle that mm. when we actually need help and yeah. getting the resources for it, it's not always there for us. Yeah, so, that's right. That's you know, true. It's so very true. Yeah, totally. So it, does it work out to be quite cost effective to be able to have the treatment at, and, and use it at home? Oh, it is, because mm. if I think our rental system, now you're going to test me now, um, prices today on the website, she says. So <laughs> you, can, you can rent a system for three weeks, six weeks or nine weeks. Right. I just like the threes, really. Mm. <laughs> and if you do it for three weeks, it's £35 a day. If you do it for six weeks, it's thirty pounds a day. If you do it for nine weeks, it's twenty five pounds a day. Okay. And then that might have courier charges. Well, that's on top. new. That's new. All new mm. since I. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I, think, I think I had the cheaper yeah, price you there as well, had didn't a, I? Yeah. A piloting <laughs> price. Then. Um, <laughs> I did. I did. Um, and we do offer concessions on that as well. So you know, get in touch with me, and I'll see what I can do to help. Hmm. Um, but that's the ballpark figure. Mm. Now, comparable, I'm probably one of the cheapest in the country. Oh, yeah. Bear in mind that, you know, I don't have the London overheads, etc. Yeah, yes, yes. Um, and I've tried to make it as affordable, affordable. As, as we can. Yeah. So if you did rent it, you'd be able to use it, you know, more than once. You can use it for everybody in, in your household. Mm. Um, you, you probably only want to do it once a day, to be truthful. You have to leave at least eight hours in between a session for any one individual. Mm. Um, so if you had it for, for three weeks, you could have 21 sessions, obviously. And if you've got four people in the house, you could have had, you know, 80-odd sessions, which, mm. you know, if you times up by 70, you've got a massive bargain on your hands when you compare it that way. Oh, well, yeah, um, yeah. But not everybody uh, wants to do it that way, and they prefer to have a slower journey mm -hmm. um, rather than maybe rush to the end. Mm. Because the bit of research that I read recently about having a session every day and I've done a session every day and I really liked it. Mm, I did uh, a session every day didn't I? Yeah. I did two sessions yeah. a day leaving eight yeah, hours right. um, There doesn't seem to be much evidence to show that a daily session is better than maybe a two or three times a week. Mm. That seems to be as good as mm. you're going to get in results mm. um, but that's down to everybody's individuality. I mean, I don't have a session every day, but when I do, I really like it. But mm. I think maybe I really like the routine of it. 
yeah. and I get up and I've done it and yeah yeah, and that, yeah I think that helps as well for sure. I, I definitely got into the routine one thing I, I, I uh, didn't like about the routine was all that sticky stuff in my hair oh, no. but I think no. I think you when you uh, did it for me though you you didn't leave any gunky uh, stuff that there at hard. all it was kind <laughs> of like oh when I did it was like oh, you know stuck everywhere Do I don't know whether them. you noticed with the pace that I gave you back it was kind of like oh I gave you a tug. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, I know, but that's that's really common though. And even when I do it to myself, I end up with this like streak of you know. Remember that film? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember that Mary film anyway. Yeah, divert. Um, it's really hard on yourself, but you know it's totally waterproof. It's washable. You know. Oh it's yeah. Based, but it's yeah. just a pain. It's just a bit of. Uh, and then you have the, the, the stuff here in your ears. Yes. And you might scratch yeah. your ear and our leg. And what's that? And get this sort of like really thick conductive paste yeah so that's what but I mean it's you know it's it's good I think it's it's the the real sort of um, for me the, the the thing that I liked about having this treatment was that I could just pick and choose the time that I had it you know yeah you know mm. I, it really was just available whenever I felt I had half an mm. hour you know absolutely because um, it only takes a couple of minutes to settle mm. and maybe a minute or two to to unset Lasts for 33 and a half minutes, mm -hmm. so you, you literally can do it within 37 And the, and the music. Oh, it's oh, beautiful, isn't it? wow. There was that one yeah. particular um, bit, bit that every time it came on, it was it was very relaxing, but... Uh, you can download the music. It's by a composer called Jeff Bozer. Oh, And okay. on the NeuroOptimal website, you can actually buy the music and just download it. Oh, and okay. I think it's on four compositions for them, which lasts right. for the time. And of course, other and it is very relaxing oh, as a it treatment, is. isn't yeah, it? There's it's no hardship to it. It's just oh, sort of listening nice. to this lovely yeah. music, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and and we can upload other music. Um, you know, we some some of the teenagers I've seen kind of get a bit bored after they yeah. want to me out. Some of their yeah. own music. Yeah. And um, yeah, we can do that. Mm. You know? mm. So that's um, it's good but to know. But for me, I just use the Jeff Bozo music. I'm yes. Bozo. I'm probably not. I think it's Bozo. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Bozo. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you don't party. like him there, love. I, know, I, know. <laughs> um, I think, really, uh, you know, the, the last uh, question, because we've sort of just gone on and it's flowed lovely, but I wanted to know whether you, uh, at this point, are accepting uh, health insurance. You know, uh, are you accepting session? No. 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 Uh, love to. Yeah, um, but no, they can't. I no. haven't found anywhere um, that pays it, to be truthful. Mm. So if your health insurance company is new and would pay it, mm. absolutely, I would mm. accept it. Mm. So I'm saying I wouldn't accept it, that's wrong. I haven't found a health insurance that pays for neurofeedback in the UK. Do you not feel like this would be uh, the type of thing that would be inevitable uh, with the insurance side of things, considering mm. that's the way we go in? I think probably at some point I that might be the case. No, isn't it? Maybe, maybe. Uh, mm. But if I was dead honest, I would just love to see it on the National Health Service. Yeah. I'm much mm. more. Um, Again, that feels that's much your more, nature. That's my nature. I'd yeah. much prefer it to be. To be there available to, yeah, to people absolutely. who couldn't necessarily yeah, absolutely. yeah because I understand. it's um, it's and I understand why it's not there not everything can be and mm. we um, we you know we've got these choices that we have to make but I would say the downside of it not being on the NHS and because the NHS is such a, a, a trusted you know part of our country mm. a totally a national treasure yeah when people hear it's not on the NHS I think they naturally think that it's not good enough to be there yeah, that's right that's and right and this i'm not sure that's true that's, I, I, that's I, I do i do feel that that, that is uh, the yeah. right thing to be honest yeah. and you know it's it's it, it has uh, got that sort of component where people would think it's quackery you know yeah, yeah, yeah. not understanding how this could possibly affect sure. the mind you know yeah. it's too a bit too much for some people to think but you know, I, I, I do think these are the treatments of the future, though. Oh, you definitely, because a lot um, more clients are doctors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, they totally get it. Um, oh, yeah. And there's been a few psychiatrists which have um, referred their patients to me, have asked them to look into it. And um, and it's also, you know, quite good for epilepsy when it's been drug resistant. You know, at that point, though, you're going to try 
mm -hmm. you know, yeah, of course. Like deep brain surgery is last resort. Yeah. That drives me out. Of course. Of course. And there is plenty of research out for neurofibro. So I'd say just to people, have a good read. You'll find plenty of stuff which challenges it. And great, mm. absolutely. Mm. Should have, everything should be challenged and yes. opposed and be able yeah. to, to read through it. But the Neurooptimal website does have a lot of information on it. Bear in mind, it is the Neurooptimal website, so that's not unbiased, it's going to be a bit bad. But it does signpost you in other directions so you can read uh, wider literature. Mm -hmm. My own website doesn't have that much information on. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably because of my own website skills. <laughs> but I will try and update that. <laughs> well, I think it's, I think it's um, important to give to give to the client and not to necessarily. I think we we sort of get carried away with the designing of these mm -hmm. websites and how we're going to advertise our service, and we really don't give that personal service to you know to mm -hmm. to your p potential clients, do you? So. I'm learning, I'm doing my uh, own course, my um, coaching course, oh, yeah. you know, you have to be very generous with, with listening and very generous with your time and that's reiterated mm. and I think that's lovely because that fits with the person mm. I am yeah. and because and I think when we, we, we start our own business, uh, it, it, a lot of time is taken up by those tedious tedious things that you didn't get into it in the first place yeah. to go into you know Massive distraction, so yeah. exactly yeah. so I think mm. the fact that you're spending less time on that and more actually talking on the phone to your clients and reassuring them that's yeah. that says something that's, doesn't it well oh yeah I think so. and I think we get drawn to the bits we enjoy the most as well don't we of course we do so of course we do uh, which is in service yeah. you know mm. you're you're very much in service for the people and this is the way yeah. that I'm going to live my life going forward you know yeah. Yeah, um, so that being said, could you tell me uh, the name of your company and where the viewers could find you oh, if yes. they were trying to source you? Yeah, so it's neurofeedbackbraintraining.co.uk, that website. Right. Um, and that's, that's it really. Or if you can't find me, go to the Neurooptimal website and then find a trainer. And mm. Would uh, that be uh, searching in an area? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the thing. You just type it in, find a trainer, and yeah. then it tells you all of the trainers across the world. Right. Um, and you'll notice there's only a few in the UK. There's mm. loads in France, right. loads in America, oh, um, okay. and uh, Canada. Mm. Um, and you can choose a country which actually doesn't have a trainer in, and maybe move there and become one. <laughs> so, okay, <yeah>. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's me. Neurofeedbackbraintraining.co.uk. Right. Well, it's been absolutely wonderful talking to you today. I could, oh, I could spend another two hours talking. You know. Oh, it's <laughs> good to talk I think to we're you that way inclined yeah. anyway. Absolutely. We love you know. <laughs> but thank you for coming on to my channel, and uh, I'd love to at some point again in the future, maybe a year from now, Ooh. do a follow up. Absolutely. Uh, and yeah. you know, we'll try, uh, try it again now that you're. Yeah, oh, this is it. Yeah, I could, I could try, try it again, it. couldn't I? Definitely. So thank you very much. Oh, oh thank you, Jenny. And uh, please. Uh, Click the like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.